entering final collections and archiving um, non-returns. Again, for training and demonstration purposes, all names and addresses are fictitious. Uh, however, catalogue codes, descriptions and prices are current to the relevant catalogue company. So if I go to my drops and collections screen, I'm just going to change the date to tomorrow for demonstration purposes. So we can see here that we've still got some catalogues on School Lane and Book Close to collect back. So I printed off my collection list. I've gone back to see what books I can get. So I then come back to mark off what, um, what the results were. So it might be that uh, number two was returned, number seven uh, was returned and looked at, number eight, no, it still can get hold of them, number 11, no, it still can get hold of them, number 14 was returned, school lane, yep, yeehaw, we got an order, um, <clears throat> number three was returned, uh, number two wasn't, and number five, book close, um, uh, returned the catalogue but said could they be removed from the list so again as before we highlight it and we say ask to be removed from a selected drop yes remove was the catalogue return yes it was so that's now removed from there so if I refresh my list to show the outstanding collections if there's an ongoing list I would then say when the next collection date was due and then I would, oh. So if we were gonna call back, we would um, put the date in there and apply to the addresses, uh, which we probably would, because we've only tried to call back twice. But once we get to the sort of the um, four, five, and six time of returning, we decide enough's enough. Um, so we will archive these. Um, we can either say no we'll uh, just class the catalogue as lost so if we said number eight say catalogue lost is it okay to collect classes as lost you won't be reminded to call again for this drop but you will put one through the next time uh, so we say yep yeah, that's lost so it won't keep coming back on this list to, trying to remind me to go and collect it but when i then do the next drop for school lane number eight will be on the list to put a catalogue through. Um, if I decide that actually I don't want to put a catalogue through the next time because it's lost and I just, you know, it's not worth the effort to try and get the thing back, I can highlight the list and say archive selected drop um, or drop. So it might be that I'm going to do exactly the same for number two. So I say archive selected drops why are you going, not going to deliver it again? Well, they're not returned, so I just leave that. Or I could overtype that with some different text. Click OK. It says, was the catalogue for number 11 uh, school lane returned? No, it wasn't returned. Was the catalogue for number 2 school close returned? No, it wasn't. So that will then remove those from the list. So if you notice there, it was saying collect on the 11th. If I was to refresh this list, for the 11th, they're no longer there because the system now boxed them off. Let's just have a quick look at what that's done to my rounds. So if I go to the round listing and we look at uh, school close, we can now see that we've got some archives in there. So if I double click on that, it wasn't returned, so it's come off the list. So it won't. Uh, add that to the next drop and the same with school lane so you can now see this table is beginning to mean, mean a little bit more so from school lane where we had original 24 houses I actually only need 17 catalogues now because some of them have been uh, clusters removed or archived and of that 17 we've now got uh, five readers um, and three of them are customers and the rest are just general prospects. So it means that when I come to do a future drop uh, for School Lane, I can either say yes, drop to the whole road that actually require a catalogue, the 17, or only drop to the readers and customers. So I'll briefly show you that. If I go to Drops and Collections 
and I say create new catalog drop let's just call road round one and we look at school lane so if I just highlight that particular one I won't worry about the others for now uh, date books out we'll put them out on Monday <coughs> and we'll collect them back on the the Wednesday and the next drop after that will be let's say next month and then I create the drop I will then this time rather than dropping to the whole 17 I'm only going to drop to five readers and three customers so I say drop only to customers and readers create the drop is it okay I'll preview that on the screen and now you see I get a much reduced drop list so I'm not dropping to the whole lane um, all I'm dropping to are previous readers and customers and that's um, all there is to controlling your um, catalogue drops and collections